time is running out if you want to make a recommendation for consideration to be the next moderator of the General Assembly for the year 2021-2022. Any minister, elder, deacon, male or female, can be recommended for consideration by the committee which I'm convener for this year. Normally when I'm trying to describe the role of the moderator, it's quite straightforward. But in this extraordinary year of 2020, the only word I can really say is expect the unexpected. However, having said that, the fundamental role of the moderator has not really changed. They're required, of course, to moderate meetings, whether it's the Commission of Assembly or the General Assembly, whether that happens virtually or whether it's in the Assembly Hall in the Mount. As for the rest of the year, for the other uh, large part of the year, the role of the moderator is to be an ambassador of the church and an ambassador for the church. As an ambassador of the church, they have a lot of contact with politicians, national and local, with the press in all its forms. They relate to senior church leaders of other Christian denominations, both in Scotland and throughout the United Kingdom, and also with other interfaith leaders. As an ambassador to the church, their role is to meet and to listen and to share and to communicate, to encourage and to envision wherever they can and by whatever means they are given. And we've all had to be very creative in finding ways of contacting people during COVID-19. So what I want to ask is this, would you please pray that the committee will bring forward the right name for consideration? And will you think about people you know who might be suitable for the committee to consider because they have the experience, the gifts and the aptitude for such a role? And if you have thought of someone and it's been laid in your heart, then why not approach them and ask whether they are willing to let their name go forward and together to fill in the recommendation form. Now, we're being conscious that uh, there's been so much in people's mind that the thought of appointing the next moderator has probably just not entered your consciousness. You've been worrying about matters of life and health, about livelihood and employment, wondering where and whether you can have a holiday this year, perhaps worrying about how and when you want to reopen your church building. COVID-19 has diverted our attention. But we do want to make the right appointment. And so in order to give people a chance, we've extended the deadline. The deadline now for recommendations to be received is Friday the 14th of August. That's almost three weeks away. And we are asking the church to help us to find the right person at this time for this important role in the life of our church. Thank you for thinking of this. Thank you for praying about this. And we look forward, by the guidance of the Holy Spirit, to find the right person for next year. God bless you. Thank you.